G'day, it's Paul McWilliam here from Harcourt's Williams Property and I'm joined today by Mari McWilliam, my partner in Team McWilliam and um, we're just going to have a quick chat. We've been having some great fun filming some little segments about home styling in this lovely property that we've just sold at uh, Kyle Street in Glenside. Uh, now this was a property that was vacated by the owner. Uh, the furniture was all removed. Um, we had Joe and her team from Homestyle Co come in and style the home and we just thought we'd just show what they've done to give you some tips on mm -hmm. how you could maybe improve the presentation of your property when you're thinking of selling and it doesn't mean you have to go and fill up a house or empty a house first and then fill it up again does it? No, you can quite easily use pieces that you have yep. and add accessories like cushions or throws or lamps or artwork yeah and makes a big it difference really makes doesn't a difference. it yeah. absolutely so i think first of all declutter yes. as much as you can we say that all the time but it's so <laughs> important it is a cliche but you have to do it and, and remember that the way you sell your home and you present your home for sale is not how you live in your home. And that's some, sometimes hard for people to get their head around, isn't it? It is too. And it's sometimes hard for people to do, especially if they have children. Yeah, um, and pets. And, and that's right. <laughs> like so do. It, it can be difficult. Yeah. But, but by just on the days of the opens or the, the photo, photography when you're having your photos taken, um, just bring out those few key accessories and pop them onto your lounge or onto your bed. Um, and it, it makes a difference. Yeah, because they can be stored in a wardrobe yeah. when the opens aren't on and That's after right. photos are done and bring them out so they haven't got dog prints and yeah. kid prints <laughs> all over them. Um, but it's also um, really important for the way the home is presented because you'll have more people in your home than you would normally have. So it's not about filling the house up with furniture, it's about making it mm. easy to get around. And the positioning of the... Positioning is really important mm. because people, they bump into something once or twice or even three or four times, um, they start feeling as though a room's too small. Mm. When it could be that it's just that one extra little bit of furniture that's poorly placed can give that impression of a small room. Mm. And that's the last thing you want when you're selling your home. You don't need that. So this home, as we said, was empty. Yes. Joe and her team bought in the, the furniture and the accessories, mm -hmm. and they've done a great job of making it feel um, like a house that can really be enjoyed and lived in. But there was a couple, of, you know, over our shoulder here, there was a little room to the back that was used as a bit of a study slash storeroom, mm. could be a bedroom. Yes. So what have they done with it? Well, they've made it into a bedroom and it's quite a, a nice, comfortable bedroom yeah. with a sort of study nook yeah. that was the space that was a bit difficult to decide what to, to put sort in Sort of it. The, where the, the and, vacuum cleaner and junk was put the, before. Yeah. Um, and for people coming in, if, if we'd left that area empty, yeah. they may have been a bit sort of undecided as to... A, how it could be used yeah just unsure um, and yeah styling yes. it also styling it has made it genuinely a third bedroom and that's obviously important for value you know oh, of course for selling your home to have the extra bedroom space and just show you know it's a great area now for a kid with a study area yeah perfect whereas before it was like a bit of a junk room so mm. that's where you know a bit of styling a bit of help from from a professional can can certainly help you with your presentation mm. um so yeah, we, we just hope you enjoy the videos that Mari's put together. Um, and thanks to Joe and her team because we've stolen all their ideas. That's right, we have. <laughs> so Homestyle Co, if you're looking They've at styling great your ideas. home, yeah. they do a great job. But uh, so yeah, we just thought that'd be a really helpful little tip for you to show you how you can set up a lounge room and set up a bedroom. And um, you know, most people know what to do. They just need a few little cues. That's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.